those of you that have watched my channel for a while know about the snake. So here's the low snake. Here's the snake rising. Here's the middle snake. Here's the high snake. All right, now what we're gonna do is come up on the one leg. So just cross one leg over the other, start low, and just practice, gotta get my grip going here, practice your low snake on one leg. Then go the other leg, same thing, practice the low snake on other leg. Try to get my balance here. And step down. So if you find it too daunting to stand with your leg this way, you can always just practice by, you can do a couple of things. One is you could just go bring your foot like so, where your big toe of the one foot, this one here, is still engaged on the earth. Then you could slowly begin to bring it up to higher and higher positions. Or alternatively, you could just put it out in front so you still have one leg balance, but it's a little bit easier. Now, you could also just do it as another alternative. You could just put the leg behind. That changes the energy a little bit. And it's fun to do it in different directions, different heights. So the key here is, you know, when I talk about fun, sometimes people have written me and said, uh, well, but gosh, don't you have to make it hard? Don't you have to, you know, I can do fun hard. I can do fun easy. I can do fun moderate. The key is oftentimes doing something that's very challenging is extraordinarily fun but oftentimes people make it a big deal and a pain and an effort and they suffer with it because they're judging themselves harshly about it remember we're doing movement practice so i'm always practicing i'm always learning i'm always discovering i'm paying attention in every moment so make what you're doing a fun joyous and sincere application of your current level of skills all right Enough of the lecture, let's get back to the movement. So let's look at just coming up and into the movement. Before you even lift your leg, what you want to do is center yourself, make sure that you're engaged, you're pushing the earth away, or in this case, I'm pushing the trunk away, what's left of it. So then I'm going to load one leg and lift the other. Put that leg down. Load the opposite leg. Lift the opposite leg up. And down. Let's do it one more time. So make it slow. Make it distinct. Load one leg. Lift the leg that you unloaded. Lower that leg back down. This in itself is a great movement. Load one leg, lift the unloaded leg. Lower the unloaded leg, load both legs. Get the idea? So you're going from both legs loaded, one leg loaded, one leg lifts, 
both legs loaded, one leg loaded, opposite leg lifts, back two, two legs loaded. So if you have difficulty with your one leg balance and doing the snake, what is the key? Do a snake. Then go ahead and get your stance. Both legs are loaded. And just do your one, shift, two. Do that twice on each side. Then do both. So come on up. One. And down. Then come up in the other leg. Load it. One leg first. Lift the leg. Do the movement. Snake. And lower the leg. So those are some ideas for you to get your practice moving. When you see me doing something, oftentimes it's compound movement. So what you want to do is take the movement that I've done, take a look at what are the pieces that are involved, and chunk it down. If you don't have one of the parts of the compound movement, practice that particular part by itself. Make it fun, make it challenging, make it creative, and remember, you're the guru.